Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to treat a snake bite. Remember the first thing you're going to want to do if you're bitten by a snake is remember what the snake looked like so you can describe it to doctors or to your friends so that they can get you to a doctor and they can get you the correct antivenom. If you use the wrong antivenom, it can potentially be fatal and kill you. So definitely pay attention to that. Whatever kind of snake it is, be able to at least describe what it looks like. Okay, that's pretty important. You're also going to want to remember to keep the bite below the heart and try to move as little as possible. That will help slow it down as well. So please don't just be running around the woods in a panic. Don't do that because that will actually cause it to, the poison to go through your body a lot faster than if you're just trying to be immobile and just being calm and just, just you know, try to keep your cool. Don't panic and freak out about it. You'll also want to remember that if you're wearing boots and you got bit in the leg, you need to remove the boots on the leg that you got bit on, or if you got bit on the arm, the jewelry. If you're wearing tight-fitting clothes, take take the shirt off or whatever it is, because you don't want anything constricting it. These things will swell up and it'll swell around it and everything else, and it's, it's a big mess. But remember that, take your boots off if you get bit in the leg, bracelets and everything off. Then put some bandages over that bite, just loose, don't tie it tight, just just kind of, if you got bit right here, we'll say, just drape the bandages over it. You don't want them to be too tight. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you some really good natural materials that you can use in an emergency. Best best always gonna be a hospital, but if you're lost in the woods or whatever, you're in the middle of a river on a float trip and you got bit, I'll show you some things that can really help you out. So just keep watching, guys. These are some of my favorite plants right here. This is cattail. You can see how much we got here. We got a lot of it. Look at some of that cattail root. You can actually take this and break it apart and stick that on your cut. You can grind it up if you want to as well. But I mean, this stuff's going to work either way. If you got a snake bite from water moccasin or something, it's always best to go to a hospital if you can. But this is going to be better than nothing. Here's one everybody knows, they just don't know they know. This is plantain. You see those seed pods right there in the center? Those big leaves, you'll find narrower leaved plantains too. But you got them all over the place, I guarantee it. Especially if you're in the Ozarks like I am, they're everywhere. But you can just kind of make a spit poultice out of the leaves and put it on your snake bite. And it'll help absorb that venom. As you can see, we got some charred material here. This is just charcoal from just hardwoods that have been burned. I had some oak in here and some maple. But this is just simple stuff you can make around camp. My favorite thing to use for a snake bite. I've never actually been bitten by a snake, but if I ever do get bitten, this is gonna be my go-to method just because it's so quick to find. I mean, if you've got a fire going, then it's pretty easy to find charcoal. But you can just take this stuff, crush it up in your hands, make it into a, a fine powder. Use a rock and a stick and just crush it up into a powder if you need to. And then you just, if you're bit right here, we'll say, then you can just take some of that charcoal that you powdered, make sure it's nice and moist, and put it on that bite. And it'll help absorb it. And you can want to also remember to Mix this in with water as well. Make kind of a, put a bunch of charcoal into it, into your water, and then just mix it up, make it a big slurry. Then you just drink it. Do that several times a day for about a week. And that will, if it, if it makes you throw up, <clears throat> and then that's gonna be fine because if you throw up, it's gonna still keep that charcoal in your system and it'll still be absorbing that venom, but charcoal guys I mean so many uses I love it they're all really great to use in case of a snake bite but remember that the hospital is definitely going to be your best bet if you can but if you can't I mean these are just great tools to have in your head remember that I mean a lot of people take books with them and stuff but if you practice this stuff you don't have to worry about taking books you know how to do it because you've actually done it before don't just watch TV and say that oh, I know how to do this because I saw it on a TV show get out and actually do these things. Look, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments, and as always, keep your blade sharp and mine sharper. See you next time.